Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Sunday with Spirit. Thank you for joining me wherever you are, whatever time you watch. I like to think of this as a collective circle um, that you can jump into and complete and, and help the circle grow, the spiritual circle of energy. Um, this is not, for my new people, this is not so much a tarot card pull, but uh, um, just us trying to touch base with spirit and see what we get. Listen to their, their messages. And on this day, on Easter, it's, you know, it's a very big, huge, huge day for the Christian faith. It's a huge day for the Jewish faith, the end of Passover. Um, it's a huge day time, I guess I should say, for the earth, spring. We're all coming to be reborn. You know, not reborn, but there's life sprouting up all over the place. Um, the Wiccan festival of Ostera brought us the Easter bunny. Whew, that's huge too. So a lot of big stuff happening right now. So what I want to do is um, I, I don't want to go into any certain religion because some people go, no, that's not what I think. That's that. We just want to see what spirit, what your higher power, whether you believe it's Jesus, whether you believe it's Yahweh, whether you believe it's the Easter Bunny, whatever you believe. And I even have some for those who don't believe. That's the Halloween deck. So we get to look forward to that. But let's just see what spirit has to say. So let me drop this down. And I've already laid out the cards, as you can see. So, <clears throat> for those that want to hear what spirit has to say, One, two, three, four. So pick a row. No, you don't get to know what the row means at all. Not yet. So you pick a row. And let's hear what spirit has to say to you. Now, some people may say, you know, I don't believe I'm an atheist. You know, I don't want to believe that. And for you, pick the Halloween deck. I'm inclusive. I'm picking everybody. All right, who picked number one? Number one, what you want, what you need, and what you need to know. What you want. The Empress. Yes, this is tarot. This is the good tarot. Um, the Empress. What you want. This is all about fertility to me. This is all about... Um, being in control of who you are, not control of, um, knowing who you are, being comfortable in your skin, having abundance, planting, creating something, fertility, what you need, the messenger of water. Water is, is so emotional. So there's an emotional thing that you need and, and you need to acknowledge what that emotional um, need is. It's not something to be afraid of for guys. It, you know, it could be getting in touch with your feminine side. For women, it could be getting in touch with your masculine side. I don't know, you know, it's, it's something that you're not looking at that you need to pay attention to, and it's all around emotion. And what you need to know is the six of water. And again, this goes back to emotions. And in this card, just leave this up there a little bit, what you need to know. It feels like with this card, this is like the six of cups going back to a simpler time, but 
it feels like in this row to me that you're creating going creating going you need to settle down listen to some emotional thing that that you're missing and 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 you'll go back to a simpler time it's not sometimes it's just be being still being quiet instead of creating all the time planting working so we had what you want the empress what you need the messenger of water and what you need to know six of water all right who picked two release what you need to release I should have looked at this before I put it up there because I don't know what it says broken open what you need to release broken open not sure where we are with that yet broken open something inside um, was there a hurt was there something that is is keeping you from opening up I'm just keen in on that broken what you need to embrace awakening genius and this is uh, the seven energies Oracle card awakening genius and what you will receive once again I should have looked at this first a merry motive I think what this is saying to me is what you need to release broken open if you've been broken if you've been hurt so bad um, if you open that up and let your light shine release that pain you're gonna open up a whole you're gonna a, a whole new beginning you're gonna embrace this new way of looking at things and it's gonna be genius it's gonna be I can let go of that pain and start on a new path and you will receive a new path a merry motive something to keep you going when you wake up happy isn't that awesome you know some days you wake up and you're cranky well I'm not saying you I'm saying me some days I'll wake up and I'll just be cranky go, oh man it's it's spring <laughs> I don't do that too often but sometimes but you can't wake up Mary if you're broken if you're hurt if you're hanging on to the hurt so let that light shine awaken the genius and receive your Mary motive all right who picked three this is my mystical shaman oracle again I should really look at these before I put them up on the screen this is the horned cactus resourcefulness interesting huh look at that the horned cactus that will hurt but there's Sun right behind it so if you get stuck with and this kind of goes like this if you get stuck with this cactus you need to find some kind of resourcefulness to get out of it listen risk it says listen and you're listening to the horned cactus be resourceful what should you forget that you're kind of hanging on to too much feast of plenty choices and their consequences 
What should you forget? It looks like it looks like you get stuck. Whoever picked three gets stuck on um, on obtaining things. You get stuck with I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this feast of plenty. And you worry too much maybe about your choice and what the consequences are so you get stuck in the cactus because you're worried about your choices and your consequences. This is the card you should forget. This is the card you should listen to. This is the card you should absorb. <laughs> Moon Maidens, New Beginnings, Moon Maidens, New Beginnings. In this deck, um, I, what did I, did I say this was Mystical Shaman? This is a Shaman's Dream Oracle, I'm sorry. Moon Maiden, New Beginnings. So when we get stuck, thinking about we need more, 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 this feast of plenty. And how do I get more? And if I do this, will it give me more? And you're looking at the, the consequences of this. If you forget about that and just do what is, what is in your heart, you get a new beginning. Row four. This is work your light. How can you mother yourself? Star mother. This reminds me of um, my religious background is, is uh, Catholic. And this reminds me of, of the statues of, of Mary. How can you mother yourself? This is what you need to honor. Um, it's not about, even though um, I think that it's, life is about service to others, if you can't, be happy and love yourself, then you can't be happy and love other people. It has to start with you, and I think that that's what this is saying. What should you let go of? Hmm. Unbound. Releasing past hurts, past lives, past things that stick us. You're not good enough. You don't deserve this much money. You don't deserve love. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Certainly the ones that don't serve you. Those past lives that do not serve you. Huh. <laughs> All right. And what should you look for? and be made aware of, so we honor, we let go, in this card, what to look for and to be aware of. Anna, grandmother of Jesus. And I can't read this little. Seeding the light, laying the foundations, the divine plan. So this, to me, this row here, to me, is making sure that you give yourself a hug, that you love yourself, you release the soul patterns that don't work for you, the I'm not good enough, I don't deserve it things, the past lives that just keep coming at us that no longer serve us, let them go. 
and know that there is a divine plan that we have set up this contract and if you are believing in Jesus there is um, a divine plan that you created with Jesus and if you don't believe in Jesus it's just you know as, as I mean if you're Jewish right that holy man that wise man spirit gives us a divine plan now some of you may say well <clears throat> I don't believe in any of it so Halloween deck here we go and is there anything that you should attach to this no because it's the Halloween deck what do you have here ah two of pumpkins you are balancing whether to light a pumpkin or keep it dark what does that mean I don't know because I believe in spirit but there's a light and a dark pumpkin in there why haven't you lit both of those and the second card is the two of imps and this is like you know it's it's almost like a little referee you have voices in your head going back and forth and they're kind of fighting each other and so here we have two cards that are two two of imps and two of pumpkins so there's a choice that needs to be made here and maybe you're balancing this out I mean certainly in this card you're you're trying to balance things out and you're fighting with each other you're fighting yourself about it feels like to me and the final card don't worry about it be happy you have the nine of ghosts and so is an interesting card for you non-believers out there don't believe in spirit just believe you know science you'll live and die your your body will go and become worm food no you've got all these ghosts behind you and you don't know it but you're happy and that's all that matters that in this life you can maintain your happiness and the ghosts will always be behind you <laughs> all right that was just a little silliness on Sunday with spirit I want to thank you all for watching um, thank you for being with me today on this Easter um, Sunday on this final day of Passover and let's have a great spring let's have a great week peace and love